What's going on, y'all? Matters Aquatics here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a four-stage valve, 75 gallons per day RODI system by Bulk Resupply. And this is the cheaper option. I'm going to be tagging this in the description, where to find it, and also these two parts. These are also something you're going to need. All right, guys, it's Green Reef here. So we're going to be uh, installing these pre these pieces. This is going to be going to our cold water supply, and literally all we got to do is turn this valve on and off that'll put that'll send water to the rodi system and this black piece right here is our drain so this is going to get drilled permanently into the drain or like where the you know the u-trap is i believe is what they call it and this is what our black wire gets plugged into and literally it's just our drain so the excess water goes into this which goes into also this. i just want to say real quickly both of these two parts was 26 dollars on amazon this was i believe like 12 or 13. 17 bucks at home depot don't get it at home depot i'll tag in the description <laughs> where to get it and yeah let's cut to the installation part so ignore my sink i'm having to move a lot of stuff around right now you're gonna have to install it underneath here as you can see this has all been cleared out that's why most of that stuff's up there but yeah you gotta turn your water off cold water cold water off and what else just turn your cold water off make sure your valve up here doesn't your faucet doesn't put any cold water out gotta make sure it's on don't go yet turn. oh we started oh it's leaking get it's it. leaking get it to ah! Alrighty, so once you've turned the water off you want to uninstall that little guy right there and we're gonna get the new part that i showed earlier and we're gonna put that exactly on top of that you might need that fitting it comes with it just in case because there's a half inch about half inch fitting here and this is a three eighths i believe right i think yes three and six or three i believe it's a three eight again yeah, i'm gonna put that part below on amazon where i got it. you can get it at home depot for 17 but it's a cheaper price on amazon if you got prime yep and just screw her on and make sure you tighten her down which we're gonna do right now this is like a u-bolt and if you know what a u-bolt is it literally just goes around like that and acts like a clamp and you literally just get the other side put it in and screw it in with the nuts all right once you're ready once you got your piece on here here to get your drill and an adequately sized drill bit adequate whatever that's gonna fit near that hole size so what you want to do is get ready and mark your hole like i did and start your first hole like that also with that little black piece right there what is surrounding the hole is going to come with that kit yeah it's adhesive uh foam and it just goes around it make sure no leaks also in case if it's too small it's going to make sure that it's big enough because my pipe is too spacer. small it is indeed a spacer yeah then once you have that piece on it's time for the ro system all right guys once you got that ready you get your kershaw knife because they're number one pretty much right and take off the zip ties cutting away from myself i promise <laughs> <laughs> that went flying that one didn't go flying okay so as stated pre as stated previously the black wire is your drain the red wire is your input or your where you connect the cold water to and so this is your collecting where you collect the water from so this is where you put this in like a bucket or this something is where like you that. put it into your bucket where you do your RO for your ro bucket the red one goes into that system that we installed over there what is the black one again this goes right into your drain all right once you get this kind of situated where you want so you get your wires balled up in a ball like that i like to stay organized this is not going to be organized at all just saying so um, get your get your red wire gonna plug it into the one that's on our cold water supply like that and then we get this one and that that is loose but we'll fix that in a minute and plug it into your hot water or your drain water line and that's literally it it's all set up so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the rodi system on for five minutes just to flush it out just so any get bad the, particles get out or anything like that yeah get the carbon block wet and everything get everything flowing and yeah so make sure that if you already have a previous batch of rodi water um, make sure that it's just going to an empty container because this will contaminate that water. Yep, and this water will be wastewater, so dump this water out once you're done with it. Once you're once you're done with your first five minutes, then you can start collecting water. Also, make sure you turn your valve off. And to turn it on, you want the knob to be facing to the left. And after a while, your RODI water will be coming out. Before I end the video, y'all, it took around one hour, 48 minutes for this to fill up to the absolute max 
Um, just want to give a rough estimate. Just to be cautious, it is going to be different for everybody because water pressure is different for everybody else. Um, again, this is a 75 uh, gallon per day. My giant bag of salt right here. I'm going to make a video soon. I got some Fritz RPM salt, the blue box. But yeah, this took around one hour, 48 minutes. Let's round up to 150. It's going to be different for everybody. If you did install the RODI system, congratulations. This is a huge, huge step in a reefing enthusiast's hobby. Like, you no longer have to go to the fish store. Give yourself a pat on the back. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Hope you all enjoyed.